kind of stayed in my lap. I can't properly play the game when you're on my lap, bud. You just want pets, don't you? You just want attention. Yes, you do. Well, you're wanting attention means I can't start a stream. <laughs> For anybody joining, I am currently trapped under a puppy that is not letting me actually get to my desk. So I can't start the stream yet as he wants to continue to sit on my lap. Don't you let him. It's like the one time you're not going to be vocal. Yes, how you doing, little buddy? Hey, Adara. How's it going, man? Let me have my lap back? No, I don't get to have my lap back? No. Because I can kind of move, I can at least move my screen. I can't reach my mouse though. So I'm currently trapped here. Can't properly start the stream, but I at least thought it started out with, hey, I'm trapped under a puppy. Hey, oh, Gabby. Hey, oh, Alex the Crazy Dutchman. I'm good, thanks, how about you? Uh, I'm actually in a pretty good mood today. Uh, recently, I found out, Dara, that I have been accepted into one of my master's programs that I was applying for. I'm in a good mood. Hey, old Gabe, how's it going, man? Just waiting on Lenny to give me my lap back. You just still want to sit here, bud, don't you? Yeah. You just really want to sit on laps right now. This is so restricting for me being able to stream. I just don't have enough space to be able to reach my mouse. Do I have to kick you off my lap, Lenny? And do I have to feel like shit doing so? I think I'm gonna have to. Get in, come on. Eh. Come on. Get you off my lap. Off my lap. There you go. There you go. Ugh. Okay, now I can actually properly get up to my desk. As he always has to jump onto my lap before I even scoot up to my desk. There we go. Now I can actually properly play the game that we intended to play today. Oh. There we go. Now I can actually hear things too. Because yes, today we must continue our conquest of Iberia, which at the moment is actually going fairly well for us. We've got Leon under I siege. Can't... Let's see, is Iberia the Vietnam of Ireland? Hopefully it's not. Um, I don't know if it's specifically the Vietnam of this campaign. Technically... Because it, it kind of could be. You could consider it that. But it's um the fact that we're the one ambushing everybody else. But I don't know if it specifically would say that it's like the uh, Vietnam of this campaign. Let's see. Uh, how's it going with the new puppy? The new puppy is actually going pretty good recently. Um, Ask Crazy Dutchman. We recently just put up a little doggy zip line thing between the house and the garage. And so that Lucius can actually kind of freely run on leash instead of us having to just have him on a slip lead. Um, and he is weirded out by the amount of space and freedom he has now because of it. He doesn't understand that he gets to just walk around and sniff things. I, my liege. Because you guys are still... No, oh, no, you guys can assault Losing Leon the right enemy. now. Okay, because I wanted to fight this, because I didn't trust the auto-resolve against King Medicano. So I want to take you out. You guys you have did. not stabbed yet. Ooh, there are princes here. Is it a person or a you are just a family member. Well, you know, let's try and kill the Portuguese prince. Actually, no, let's first start with Fernando. Sire. Fernando. Is that just your name? Fernando. Fernando? Why Fernando? Not why not Fernando? Okay, well, you did not succeed in killing him. But are you going to get away, good sir? Thankfully he did. One wheel. Let's see. Who needs How you got now we both have everybody has the same chance. Is it a so we finally finished off the French? Side. Yes. The French have finally been killed off. As through the combined efforts of uh, Richard O'Fallet and wherever he went. Ah, Art O'Brien, and then. Ah, here he is. Here's Colin the Merciless. 
through their efforts, we have finally been able to kill off the French. I realized I forgot to, like, release the past episode 16 of the stream. I forgot to actually release that and have it be, um, open to viewing. Because <laughs> I forgot that technically people weren't able to get a look at that stream recently. Which I forgot about. But, yeah, we have finally been able to finish off the French. We killed them in, uh, Marshal Combat, taking out Marcel and Barcelona. And so they're finally dead, and now we're just trying to finish off Spain. Because Spain is pretty close to killing them off, too. That's it. You may want to kill that Moorish Imam soon, so they don't interfere with your conversion of Iberia. True. Um, where did he go? Who do you want to go get him? He got him. He shouldn't fail. No, he didn't fail. Good job. Because I don't think the Moors have any land in Iberia. I think they've been pushed out. Yeah, no, they've been fully pushed out, so the Moors don't have any uh, actual settlements around here, but any random Imams they have could definitely be an issue for us if they continue to try and convert uh, the lands of Iberia. So we really need to make sure that we're continuing to push forward. Also, where's my other army of... Oh, here's my other army of... <laughs> uh, I love how many of you guys I have. Okay, let's get let's start this off with uh, Leon, because I don't think you guys should be able to beat me here. On, they have a really good odds, but I'm hoping they don't ours. have... Uh, they have one settlement in Iberia. Um, it looks like that's outdated information, though, Alex Crazy Dutchman. Because if you right-click, um, that gives you the most up-to-date information. It looks like... I know they technically controlled Granada before, but they don't control it anymore, it looks like. Because it looks like they've been pushed out of Africa completely. And I'm pretty sure that's what I remember happening um, when we checked the uh, map information a while ago. Okay, so let's see. Skirmishes. You guys up. And then let's have it so... Let's put one of you over here. I'll have you along with the gunmen here on this side. I'll have you drop off one of your rams. And then... I'll drop this one off too. Basically, all of you guys are going to go over here. Let's see, why must you kill the inventor of coffee in the namesake of America? <laughs> because of what they did to our family. Even if he is a great person in the future, we must kill all the Spanish. So I'll bring you guys over here. Oh, missed one guy. And I'll bring the cab over here to help out. And then I'll have it so you guys over here, pick up a ram, and start moving up into this area. They are not even defending the gates. Okay, that's great for me. So you guys start moving up, and I'll try and... Oh, they actually are going to the main gate. Okay, well, I can just loop around them and kill them afterwards. But yeah, you guys go to these gates, bash them down. We'll try and get into the city center. They have just the cav and the pikemen. You guys probably pull back. Of course they send all the dudes where my infantry all are. Not be long before our enemy's defenses fall. Okay, well, I'm going to ignore that gate for the most part. Just going to break down the gates and have my guys pull away. Because I want to have them, uh, everybody rush into these side areas. The battering ram has done its work. Now really? is the time for brave hearts and brave deeds. Oh, I was fast as hell. I was way faster than I expected. Okay, you guys pull away for now. Okay, pull away. Because I don't like those towers. And also, you going up against a pike unit is just going to be suicide. So does everybody else break down the, the gates. Ram has done its work. Okay, you guys now start rushing this way. Same with the rifles. And, and then you just broke this down. Our soldiers have proved their worth today. Skirmishers move up this the way too. Walls belong to us. And my cavalry. Okay, now they're far enough away from this area. I'm going to send my infantry up. You guys can walk, though. So far, I've just lost 1% of my dudes. Because they don't have much. I just have to be careful, otherwise they can just cause a lot of damage to my dudes. Okay, you guys are here. Open fire on the general, please. Make sure you kind of run away from that area, too. We don't want him to catch you, but keep firing on him when you can. Wait, you just tried to bat at him with your gun? Also, what? That is not how you turn around. 
Okay. That one's, please throw. Coming, keep firing. Keep doing that. And then, are my skirmishers over here yet? Basically, I want you guys to get over here. Cav kind of run over this way. I don't want you to engage this unit just yet. All my archers and skirmishers, as soon as you're able, open fire on this dude. Cav just kind of run away from them. We'll surround them once my infantry's here. That is not what I just told you guys to do. I told you to run away. That's not running away. I guess I'll end up over here. Uh, okay, he's lost, lost quite a few. Keep firing on him. You guys keep trying to hold your position there. While everybody else gets into theirs. You are almost here. And then skirmishers try and just walk up like this. There we go. Also, I'm kind of curious. I know that's something I've been kind of considering is, um, how much longer do we want to continue this specific stream? Um, or, uh, this campaign, I mean. Because I know for myself, the longest stream campaign I've ever had was only, I think, like 20 episodes. That was the, uh, Stormcloak campaign. And I'm kind of curious if we want this one to continue longer than that one. Uh, because it technically could at this point. With where we are at this campaign, the goals we're sending us, uh, putting our, uh, on ourselves, I could see it. Okay, please shoot him. Also, all you guys to turn on so Shoot him. You guys try and flank this unit, please. Please kill him. The cavalry never listen. They never do. It's always a pain in the ass. Are you guys almost done? There's nine of you. The king himself is dead, so he's breaking easily. It's just... I need to finish off the rest of that bodyguard. The pikemen are still holding really well for some reason. I was expecting you guys to break easily here. They are dying, very slowly. Forces, victory, defeats... Yeah, they can just yo-yoing around. If we continue like this, we will smash the But enemy. we've got the city center. It's just a matter of time before we win it now, so at least bring my skirmishers, just march them all in slowly. There we go. Half the army's dead. We'll probably run the timer out unless they break, but for some reason those pikemen are really sturdy. Only half the Look how ah, perfect. There we go. For us. This is a clear victory that okay. goes to all We've now slain King Maracano. What are we gonna name the Americas then? <laughs> With King Medicano dead, there is no namesake for the Americas. Oh, Leon makes a lot of money. I like that. I like that a lot. Uh, get the Mayor's Palace. Try and make that place a little bit happier. Because I think what we'll go for next, uh, that's another city. City. That's a castle. I could easily have you guys go for this, though. It's just another city. It's pretty weak, though. Uh, oh god, now I'm trying to remember how to pronounce it. Um, Noir Iri? That is probably so wrong. Irish for New Ireland. Okay, so I at least had the right idea that that is new. Okay. How, how bad was that pronunciation? Let's see, name her after the first general set foot for longer than a couple of turns. Uh. Throwing shade at an entire family line there. Uh, you yeah, know we could do that. Either one, either I, I kind of like the idea of naming it. Um, oh God, how is that supposed to be pronounced? Hey Google Translate, can you do me a solid? Let's see. Nua, Nua Era, Nua Era. Kind of sounds not the worst. I'm trying to remember if, uh, I don't think it had it for Irish. Technically it has it as something differently for New Ireland. Um, what does it technically think it's saying if I write that in? So do, do, do. It doesn't know what that second one is. The second word is. 
perfectly pronounced. Awesome. So, Nua Era. Okay. Perfect. I did one thing correctly today. <laughs> okay, let's see. Do we have anything else to do? Because we're being besieged here. Too worried about that. Uh, you guys are trying to still group up with more of these guys. I'm trying to make my way to Nuremberg. You guys should be able to hold that. Visby should be able to hold that. Turku should be able to hold that. Oslo, I probably want to move these guys out of here at some point. I get the better dockyard. Excuse me. Is there anything else to build? I don't... Oh, no. Silkeborg can get something. Silkeborg... Oh, get the better Welsh mercenary one. I think we can finally get those dudes. Yes! We can finally get the guys that can form shield wall. It is finally recruitable. So we can finally do that. Actually give uh, Desert Ranger his army that he really wants. So that's awesome. Uh, Dublin, what do you guys have available? Oh, get the better dockyards. Lancaster, also better dockyards. Uh, oh, you guys are a little unhappy. Uh, get the better mayor's palace for now. We need to help with public order there. Uh, Nua... Eranan is also correct. It's probably more grammatically correct. Okay. Uh, I do still think that um, Nuo de Amsterdam sounds better than my English name for their colonial, colonial territories. I don't disagree. I do not disagree. Let's see. So we don't have anything else to do for this turn end. I can try and stab more people. Oh my god! I want to make sure I don't piss off the Byzantines. My god, guys. Leaving oh, son of a bitch. Limit. Hi there. Okay, so the Holy Roman Empire is going to attack Conley the Mean. God damn it, they did actually revolt there. I was hoping they weren't going to revolt at Marcel. So I'll have to try and reclaim that. Because that's a nice city. It makes a decent amount of money. We'll try and gather a force together for that next turn. But let's see. Ah yes, the Byzantine hordes are upon us mortals. So you guys are attacking me. We are going to defend this thing. Don't know why there's a random Stonehenge here, but we're gonna defend it either way. It's off to the side. Skirmishers. And then infantry. There we go. And then I just have my other cab units. You guys kind of just chill right here. Okay. Hey, oh, Jason. <laughs> Vassalize the Pope if it's possible. I want to see if I can. Um, I think I was in the process of trying to get a uh, diplomat, and then I'm going to try and see if I can vassalize him. Because I would find it hilarious if we vassalized the Pope. I would find that fucking hilarious. Uh, because Stonehenge wasn't the only of its kind uh, that were built in the Neolithic era. True. Um, I just wouldn't expect one of these randomly in the middle of France. I like it. It's a nice aesthetic. And it's something for us to defend that's cooler than nothing. Uh, I thought they would be more focused uh, with the factions to the east. You would think so, but it seems like the Byzantines have a goddamn vendetta against uh, the Pope for some reason. Uh, did you check out the mod? Also, there's a new version of Warcraft Total War that got released. Oh, really? Oh, I didn't know there was a new Warcraft Total War version. Um, I haven't been able to check that one mod out just yet, Jason. Um, I kind of got distracted by preparing for my D&D campaign, since I'm a DM for that. But is Warcraft Total War? Let's see, Warcraft... I'm curious what they did for that. What'd they add in the new version? I re-uploaded the mod and it's been updated with at least 37 new strat models, minimum. Um, a few updates for both campaigns. Removing any um, crash dash find the units, improving things. 
official public beta of release, but uh, released to the mod using CD version. Okay. Huh. Okay, so some minor um, updates. Okay, cool. I'll just see if people want me to go back to this uh, campaign at some point with the Warcraft Total War mod. I know I intend to go there at some point. <sighs> These stone circles are found all over across Europe. The Byzantines just want to reunite the church after the schism. They decided to do it by force. Duh. Well, of course, I know. They're, they're, they're after my own heart where I'm also trying to reunite the church in my own way. Okay, you guys, let's now stop being distracted. Okay, I'm gonna go around the side here and just start opening up on them. Number-wise, so far, six to one so far. That's pretty good. Kind of move around. You guys keep firing on them, on those wild handers. And then that's... Ah, uh, that's not the general. Who's the general? There was a captain. No, no, that is the general. Oh, uh, wait. I think those wild handers is the general. Ah, uh, I don't see him. But he's dying either way. Wolves gets crusaded. <laughs> Let's see, well, I mean, they were plonks, so on average, they were built absolutely ever. True. I guess I wouldn't have expected as many to uh, survive then, I guess. Because I just don't know how many we found throughout history. Because I know Stonehenge is obviously the most uh, famous one. And probably one of the most well preserved, but I just don't know. How many actually survived through the ages? Let's see, these well handers are what the. Um, I don't know how you specifically say that word. Len. Lenkirschnik? Lenkirschnik? I think that's how you pronounce it? I, I want to learn German at some point. I really need to try and start learning it again. Because um, I was originally, I was trying to learn it, and then I kind of took a break from learning it. That's the general. Let's try and take him out first. Uh, let's see. Technically, the Byzantine Empire was Eastern Orthodox instead of Catholic. Uh, is it normal that any time when I have a headache, it focuses around my eye sockets? Uh, not specifically. That's one of the most common areas to have a headache. Um, your frontal lobe kind of area. Um, it's usually tension headaches kind of can be around that area. I, it's the same thing for me. I know I usually have headaches focused around that area as well. Where did the general go? I have no idea where the hell the general went. Well, I wanted to kill him. Let's see. Lanskur... Lanskur... Net. Net. I don't know how you... Uh. Net. Net. Lanskur... Net. Let's see. As the Turks, I called the Jihad against Rome, and the only problem was the Pope had ten armies defending Rome. Sometimes when I sneeze, it hurts my head. Well, that might just be the physical trauma of your brain. Hey, What you barking at, bud? Maisie. I don't think she's back yet. She's supposed to message me and she's on her way back. Ah, uh, yes, I am trying to pronounce that exact same word, uh, Crazy Dutchman. It's being brought up in the, uh, YouTube chat. And I'm trying to remember how you're technically supposed to pronounce that. Jason said it's supposed to be, uh, Landsker... It's pronounced like Necht. Okay, so Lands Connect. Yeah, because my brain just didn't know how to pronounce it with a T at the end, too. Let's see, how far into Asia can we go in this mod? Um, not very far. I'll double check after this battle how far we can go. Uh, I should probably be paying attention as my guys are getting their asses kicked. Okay, let's bring you guys over here. You guys need to find the general and kill him. He's right here. He's this Imperial Knights unit. So you guys need to go try and kill him. General, I'm going to have you start walking around and try and kill these guys. Try and see if you can break them. Let's see. Uh, that word is the definition of why silent letters shouldn't exist. It's a good example. It is definitely a great example. How are these peasants not broken? 
How the hell? Train almost goes down. Good tidings. Oh, the there we go. General lies dead. That's what we I want to see. To hell. You guys just keep staying around there. Now are you guys going to break, please? Let's see, uh, Arias Gastier has India on their map in one one. Ooh. Ooh. Wait, uh, uh, once this battle is done, at least I'll kind of double check. I'm pretty sure we can't go that far into Asia, sadly. But I'll double check how far we can go in this mod. Because I know there are some mods that have actually focused on trying to have, like, a full world map. Um, especially, there's a few in Medieval. They, they're they're kind of really spread out because of it, but it is possible to have a lot more of the world. It just There's a hard limit on the settlement's amount on the map, sadly. I am stoked for Rome to or Rome Remastered. Hopefully it sells well enough for Medieval 2 Remaster. That is my hope. I want it to do well. I want it to show them, hey... Please do this for Medieval 2. If they do it for Medieval 2, I will fucking love them. Because I, I like some of the more recent Total Wars, but I like Medieval 2 more. Like, I like... I, I've stated, hey, I like the Warhammer Total War games. I think they're actually pretty good. But there are aspects of it, like, hey, the late game of Warhammer I think sucks. But, like, if we got a Medieval 2 remastered, oh my god... Like, there's a reason I have, at this point, probably close to 3,000 hours on this goddamn game. And there's a reason why. The mods, I love the mods, I love the kind of immersion into the game. Uh, Aero Total's Conquest is probably best known. Yeah, that's one. Um, there's all, also uh, Falcom Total World War is another one. That one also has a full map. Um... What other ones have a full map? I'm pretty sure there's like one other one that I have in my mods installed that has a full map. I just don't remember what it's called, but I know uh, I have Aristotle Conquest and Falcon Total War there too. Uh, hey, in Dutch and German, the letter CH is very normal. I'm sorry your smooth brain isn't able to speak the best language at all. No, the CH isn't the problem. I'm used to saying a hard C, uh, CH sound. I'm used to that. My... Um, it's the fact that uh, it had a T at the end. Like I don't, I didn't know how that the was supposed to be. Um, this be is added on to it. Of only the mightiest of generals. <laughs> Rome one remasters die. Uh, so that's not me. Um, Mine, yeah, fuck off. <laughs> fuck off, Holy Rome. Ah! Oh! Ho ho! So I see the Spanish uh, deciding to try and kill me. Wow, you have a lot of crossbows. Um, oh, I have like no cavalry. <sighs> Do I want to fight this? Let's see, with the remaster though, uh, how many mods could be made that overhaul it fantasy wise at least? Um, the question, the, the thing is, if it's about as moddable, because it almost looks like basically they took the same source code and upped it, uh, upgraded it a little bit in how it looks, maybe? I don't know, it's, it's hard to tell. But um, they, I know they've been trying to make sure that it's as, they're trying to make it as moddable as possible. Supposed to have Steam Workshop support, um, and so if it's kind of a very similar process to how you made edits to, I think the only issue was like the map is kind of pre-generated in the Rome Total War Remaster, so the maps might be more difficult to edit, but it's possible if I remember correctly. And so eventually, I'm expecting that we will be able to have fantasy mods updated into like Rome Total War Remaster. Oh yeah, I can kind of understand that. Yeah, no, because I know for myself, Alex Crazy Dutchman, it's it's it wasn't the CH part. It was the the T at the end is weird to me because I, I I'm I'm used to having to say uh, say a more of a hard CK sound. Um, let's see, my friend was playing Planet War as the dinosaurs abandoned the Pope side to force him to commit to commit die. Uh, Planet War hasn't had a new file in like five years. It's kind of a shame. I know for myself, I've loved the Planet War mod. Uh, that was kind of what like what started my camp my channel a little bit is me playing that. Oh my god, it's still bad to listen into the old versions of my videos on those, but... 
Um, the Dinonia one, that was a pretty fun one. I like the Dinonia campaign. That was fun. Because that's a ridiculous-ass mod. Uh, fuck it. <laughs> fuck it. I'm gonna fight it. I should probably run. But Noah's a badass. I might get myself killed, but we'll have him try and fight it. Uh, since we last talked on Steam, I have installed 15 more mods. Holy shit. <laughs> you have more of an addiction than I do, man. Okay, so they're coming in from behind me. The guys attacking me have the larger force. So what I could do... I have two options. Stay where I am right now. And face the smaller force. Or go onto a hill and try and face the other force. Because the army inside is larger. I could rush the smaller army while I have the advantage. And then turn around and face the rest of them. I'm not sure. Oh my. That's rookie numbers from the first week that I got medieval too. Um, I'll tell you, I guess it also might be because I speak an accent that has a lot of uh, CHT towns. True, I can see that. Obviously, but since Roman lets you spam troops at your ass, there are more fun. Just wish they had scripts as advanced as what can be made for Medieval 2. True. They did say they were trying to expand the um, what's possible with the scripts a little bit, it sounds like. Um, but I'm kind of hoping... That maybe the modders will be able to do some magic. I'm hoping. I don't know. Fuck, what am I doing here? Okay, so... Am I assaulting them, or am I going to try and go up to this hill? I think... Let's do this. I'm going to rush them. And I'll have it so, like, you three are going to guard my room. This is really also going to depend on my general, what he's able to do, how well this is going to go. The enemy so, brought up more men. so while they're bringing in reinforcements, I am rushing them. I am rushing this force. I'm going to be very aggressive. And then you guys kind of defend our flank. Because I've got a lot of crossbows. I've got a pretty good general. I've got some cav. If I can disrupt them the best I can and just get my men into melee with them. I'm hoping that my knights will be able to hold the back line until we've finished you guys off. That's kind of my hope. Okay, so they got Avol now. There we go, charge forward. Inventory as well. Just get in there and melee. Just rush them. Battle is very much back in up. our favor. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. Let's see. Hey there, can't stay for long. Do you just want to drop in and say hi? Alrighty, G Master. Thanks, man. It was good to have you. It'll be good to have you here at least as long as you're able. Uh, skirmishers, uh, hold your position. Shoot the fucker. You guys need to try, and yeah, you're just going to be holding saints, this position. Our men have slain the enemy Perfect. Terror. He's already Without dead. Him, his troops will lose their will to Perfect. Fight. You guys go over here. Seven and nine. Let's see. If it's easier to be monitored in a sufficient way, I think it'll be it will sell ex ex excellently well. I hope so too. I, that's why my hope. I'm hoping it will sell very well. I, I do agree that from the way it looks like the mod is developed, it it's definitely targeting people that have played the game before, and so maybe it won't sell as well as we would like it to. But I don't know. I'm hoping some people that maybe joined more recently with the Total War games so are like, oh no, let me go try this. I've heard really good things about it. Let me try it. See what it's like. I can hope that's maybe a thing that's going to happen. I just don't know. Let's see. Uh, hey, what I miss? Uh, what did I conquer like last this, time? Um, you conquered enemy. Barcelona last time. Uh, Opie Lucky? The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. Is there a Star Wars mod for Medieval 2? Um, I don't think so. Or not explicitly a Star Wars mod. Um, I remember there was one mod I was playing that had um like. 
It had Spartans as rebel units um, for, uh, like, Spartans from Halo. And I can't remember which mod that was, but I know that was something that was like a joke unit. But I don't think there's explicitly a Star Wars mod. I don't think so? I don't know. I'd have to look into that if there is. Uh, but really, it's getting all the exposure. Rome 1 is where most people started Total War, well, I did at least. Yeah, Rome 1 was my main start, too. Uh, mainly Mountain Blade and Warband for Star Wars. Yeah, there, 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 I know there is a Mountain Blade Star Wars mod, um, but I don't think there's one for Medieval 2. That's a archer unit. I need more reinforcements up here. They're, about to, they're starting to surround my skirmishers, which I don't like. Let's start back. This area is kind of not doing so hot. Um, you guys start moving up here. And you start helping my guys over here. Because I've beaten back one force, I have to beat back the other force now. You guys try and run away at least. Yeah, you guys just point the, shoot them point blank, please. You guys get back over here, get rid of that archer. Getting my infantry back over here now. Run back further. Because the general's bodyguard is right here. My general, just get rid of this archer, and then I'll have you kind of loop around. You guys can go over here, actually. Uh, there's like two or three forward men. Yeah, there is. Uh, is there a Star Wars mod? But it's weird. Really? Yeah, because I just know for myself, I've never seen a Star Wars mod for Medieval 2. But then again, there might be. I just maybe haven't looked hard enough. For Medieval 2 and Rome 1, I have 40 mods installed. Holy shit, man. <laughs> That's so many mods. Like, I know for myself, um... Actually, I'm curious, because, like... It means, like, I'm going to technically pause the combat for one moment. I have, for Medieval 2 at least, uh, one... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, 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 forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six,
What is the best state in America? I'd say Minnesota. Then again, I'm biased as shit. And again, a lot of people in the U.S. would probably say their own uh, state is the best, unless they're like from Nebraska or something, and then they realize, yeah, no, Nebraska sucks. No, Ohio. Ohio is a better example, because um, Ohio just sucks. But for myself, I like Minnesota. I like it. I like it here. People don't like the weather. I do like the weather, even if it's kind of bipolar. Mom, can we have Canada? Mom, we have Canada at home. Canada at home. Minnesota. <laughs> I love that. Is it playing Rome 1 music? Yes, it is. Uh, I know for myself, that's one of the reasons why I like this mod a lot, is because it... I love the Rome 1 battle music. It's fucking amazing. I love it. It's probably my favorite music that they've got in uh, the Total Wars. Okay, let's cross with it. Because we're starting to win! 54 to 69. Oh, uh, you're fighting me. Let's kill you. If I did that with mine, I wouldn't be able to press the on button without exploding it. <laughs> Jesus. Come on. This is their king. They know I've killed their prince so far. Now we just need to kill the king. I might straight up kill Spain. No, I'm gonna kill Spain here. Because they don't have any other cities. Lost half their men. Uh, what historical mod have you played at 70 earliest? Um... Uh... I don't know. I'm not sure. Um, because I've never installed any of the Bronze Age mods. I've never done that. So... I'm not sure. I don't usually look for mods like that, honestly. I Most of the mods I've played have been fantasy, or they expand on the medieval uh, setting already. My state managed to kick the British butts in the revolution. <laughs> um, but I know for myself, um, I usually focus on fantasy mods, and yeah, mods that just kind of overhaul the current era. Um, I don't usually try and find ones that expand it too much. Um, or go into a different era, maybe very earlier on. Look how our cowardly foe runs. Like for medieval too, technically the, the earliest uh, would be like Europa Barborum, technically, because I've I've never installed a mod that goes earlier than just Rome. Let's see. I mean, Florida is a nice state. Algerine snakes and crazy people have a special place in my heart. It's Florida, man. He's at it again. Okay, everybody, let's just run them down now. I want to make sure we get the Magic 85, because if we do, we will have killed off Spain. We already killed off both their prince and their king. I just need to run them down so I can get the city. Although, they might just be dead. Let's see, uh, all jokes aside of the states, I have been in California and Florida are the best. Because I've been to Florida once. I, eh, it was okay. Went there on vacation once with my family. I thought it was okay. All of um, will be in all I kind of find it funny that I, one of my uh, favorite experiences in a different state was the one time um, I was going to visit my dad in the Virgin Isles. Because uh, he's, he he's been doing some contract work down there um, since the hurricanes hit a couple years ago. And um, my flight was delayed and was I had to wait in Georgia. Uh, and... I randomly just went to this like little diner and I went and um, went and saw Blank Black Panther at the time and I'm like, you know what? I really like this. I actually kind of really like the area around here, Atlanta. It's actually kind of cool. And let's see. Ah, we captured the king. Ah, ransom value of eleven thousand gold. Virgin Isles. <laughs> I remember, uh, I still really enjoyed going to, because we, uh, that was, um, St. Croix is the island he was on at the time. He's now on St. Thomas. Um, so I kind of find it funny. It was interesting the one time his friend Tyrone was like, oh, you got a burn? Well, let me just go over here, chop down a aloe thing, put this on your burn. Or, oh, hey, you want to, you want, you're, you're hungry? Oh, here, let me just go go to a tree and just grab a coconut. <laughs> it was kind of cool. Let's see. Do we want to ransom or execute off? I'm just gonna execute. I know. We'll try and ransom him. Like, no, I want the city. Fuck you. Oh come on! That was supposed to give me the settlement, damn it. But Spain's dead. Spain's dead at least now. 
Hi, Sicily. Ooh, that's a bad idea, Sicily. You are attacking me with a lot of crossbows. I'm gonna try with the draw. Marching to battle, yeah, sire. We march no further today. Where's the best foreign country? I I've never been outside of the U.S. technically, so I actually don't have much of an opinion. I'll just generically say Switzerland, I guess. I don't know. Uh, maybe Norway. I don't know Denmark. <laughs> Switzerland. <laughs> Yeah, because I don't know. I, I've never been able to travel outside of the U.S. to a different country. Uh, and so, I'm not sure. Also, I think we're going to die here. But let's see how much damage we can do to them. Get ready to give them hell! Because they do have a lot of crossbows. They might be able to delete my army. Uh, what's the breed of the dog that's in the background? Uh, well, there's two of them. My lord. There's the Lanny, who I think is sitting us. in my room right we now. Must act to um, he is a events. terrier mix. We think terrier lab mix. And then there's Lucius upstairs, who is a uh, beagle mix. Let's see. Uh, I unironically love Switzerland. So let's see. How much damage can we do with you guys? Because I at least do have like these units are powerful, but they outnumber me four to fucking one. So. Uh, this might not go well. Switzerland is nice. Honestly, thought a discount Canada man would have said Canada. I, yeah, honestly, wouldn't be a bad, a bad choice to say Canada. I just know for myself, I've never been able to go to Canada, so I still can't, uh, give too much of an opinion on it. Yeah, you guys are wrecking me right now just because you have so many skirmishers right now. I'll try and have you guys just deal as much damage as you can. Might not be able to, though. They have too many guys. Can you get them to break with a the charge? There you go. Nah, this army's gonna die, sadly. Because you guys just don't have the best melee stats. I can get you to break them with charges, Lord, but it's hard. Because you guys are more likely to just get genius. wrecked, like so. Damn it. Also, like half my army for here. Yeah, it, it's Our only if I have more guns than them that they can actually do while so just them. Still fight. May the devil have his soul. Only problem with Switzerland is the dialect. Let's see, what's the most insane mod you've played? Hmm. Okay, so what is our definition of insane? Are we saying indifferently, um, insanely difficult? Insanely crazy? Or insanely easy, or I don't know. Like, what, what are we saying? What are we defining as insane here? Because I have a few thoughts so far um, that I can think of, but it depends on how we're def defining the insanity. Cow German, everyone. What the fuck? Because I know playing a war obviously is pretty crazy. Um, playing a war is crazy. Ah, oh, what was the one I was thinking of? I know there's like a fucking World War One mod for Rome one, but I haven't played that one. That one's kind of funny. Um, the World War One mod for Napoleon's kind of ridiculous. Uh, what else? Let's see. <clears throat> I did a U.S. state quiz earlier. First try, I only got Wyoming, Minnesota in the wrong spot. Granted, there was no state borders. Hmm, that's not bad. I guess I'm so biased towards Minnesota that I, I'm like, how can you mistake Minnesota? It's like one of the most unique shapes. I like Minnesota. Some of the other states, I don't fucking know them all that often, but... Um, like, how they managed to do this, why it's so difficult, such a large map, etc. Um... Hmm... I, I think for it just because it's on my mind Lord recently. Um, we have been dealt the Zarda mod is kind of just like an insanely like crazy like what they've been able to do with some of the stuff. Um, I think that's a really cool way they've expanded on the um, mod and on the game itself. Um, 
Marching to battle. Why it's so difficult? Hmm. Oh, can you not lure my guys outside of the city, you assholes? Okay, I'm gonna have to fight this dab in the mean. I'm controlling those myself. Uh, in Res uh, Gaste, you can play as the right? Hello, Banania Daniel. Hope you didn't kill me yet. Not yet. You're still working on it. I see. I would be able to name all 50 states, but most of the state capitals would be. Uh, but most of the state capitals would not be part of my knowledge. Yeah, our capitals are kind of weird. Because some of them are just literally stealing other city names from other city uh, countries at times. Like I know, uh, is it North Dakota? Is one that I found kind of weird. Like it's capital. Okay, so you guys are gonna lure us out. I don't like this, but you guys have a bunch of infantry. This isn't that difficult of an army, actually. So I will fight this. Come on, lads! This battle is ours. I'm still waiting for myself to get fucking access to the uh, Rome Total War remastered. I don't know when I get it. I want to know when I get it. I want to play the goddamn game. I hate that I saw that fucking Lionheart started playing the Seleucids and I'm like, dude, I was about to play the Seleucids. <laughs> I'm still going to play them, but uh, it kind of bugs me that uh, one of the larger YouTubers is grabbing the thing that I was about to be doing. Like, that's supposed to be my unique thing that I was doing. Uh, let's see, my reinforcements. Uh, are they coming from the north? They should be coming from the north, right? Wait, no. Where am I? I'm gonna be up here. I wanna be on the hill, anyways. Be up on the hill. Um, like, uh, why I not the capital of New York State? Saturday's day rampant. It comes out on the 29th. I know it does, Jason. But as uh, because I'm part of the YouTube content creator program, I'm verified content creator. I I know I'm going to be getting early access at some point. I know that's a thing. Um, but because I'm not a large enough channel, I don't get it a month early like others. Um, and so I know, like, oh yes, it's guaranteed to come out here, but I'm supposed to get it a little bit earlier. That's the thing. Um, but yeah, no, uh, my day's going pretty good, Daniel. Um, we've killed off the Spanish in here. Um, and then also the other interesting thing, I know I said this earlier, um, uh, is the fact that I know for myself, I am very excited about the fact that, um... I was actually accepted into one of my grad schools uh, earlier this week, which is very cool. Very cool. Okay, so I'm going to be... I hate where you guys are reinforcing from. Because I'm going to try and move them up here. Let's see. Most popular cities of a state isn't the capital of the state. Um, let's see. Rampan, are your dogs crying or is it mine? Uh, they are. Uh, I'm the only one home right now. Uh, my roommate, Timidius, she should be coming back at some point. Uh, from her mom's and Lucius doesn't like that he can't get downstairs and so he kind of whines a little bit upstairs because he doesn't know how to go downstairs on his own just yet he kind of does but he kind of doesn't at the same time um, if they're if we have the gate up even if it's open it's a little too high for him that he's scared to try and go down from that point I can understand why because he's, he's literally face, face planted into the bottom of the stairs before he is a clumsy idiot um, so I know he's whining a little bit because of that. Um, I could bring him down here, but he has not pooped recently for me. I tried to get a poop out of him earlier, but he didn't want to do so. Let's see, uh, at what difficulty does the AI and Rebels recruit mercenaries and Rebels begin sieging settlements? Um, I don't think that's actually tied to the difficulty of the AI. Um, I believe that's more tied to the, um... AI they're trying to use, because not all AI is going to be aggressive. Um, it really depends. There, uh, I know for certain mods I've had, no matter what difficulty I'm on, they'll always attack cities if they're vulnerable. Um, and then there are others where they just never do. Uh, Rampane, my county has a <clears throat> countywide garage set today, and you will not believe who showed up to mine, Joe Logan. Oh, wow. Huh. Interesting. Interesting. Let's uh, see, I realize that the most populous doesn't equal capital. That's not what I'm confusing me. Confuse me is why it's named the same as a state, but it isn't the capital. 
true. I, I can kind of see what you mean. I can kind of see what you mean. Um, well, I think it's because with New York State at least, um, New York City was like, what, New Amsterdam, wasn't it? If I remember correctly? That's what it was originally. And, uh... Technically, it's, it wasn't a uh, representative of it then, and maybe they decided to not just change it uh, before. Also, guys, I need you to start harassing them from the rear. They have a lot of infantry, so I need to start shooting them. I'm glad, at least for me, I think it makes the most sense what capital is for us. Uh, I'm glad to lose it in our capital. I always forget, is... Because we're the Twin Cities in Minnesota. <clears throat> I believe the state capital is technically in St. Paul and not Minneapolis. <clears throat> yeah, because I know it wasn't New York City originally. I believe it was New Amsterdam, if I remember correctly, because it was originally a Dutch city. There we go. Now nah, my voice doesn't sound as raspy. Oh, it kind of does a little bit. So they are advancing on me. I don't like um, I'm not going to be able to get to the point I want to get to. So I'm going to have you guys all adjust. We're not going to be able to get to the point I wanted to, so there's no reason for us to try and run up the mountain. <clears throat> Malcor streamed Pontus earlier. Yeah, he's also one of the people who gets earlier than me. I hate that, like, ah. Uh. I don't know if I, I don't know if I can see that. Never mind. Um, I just know for myself. I, I it was frustrating for myself that I realized <clears throat> I was originally very close to the cutoff they originally had, uh, where I would have been considered maybe being able to get stuff earlier uh, than I do now. God damn it, game. Um, but they changed that recently, and so I still will not have access for a while. Like early, early access, that won't be a thing. My chance to. Thank you, game, for crashing. That is fucking beautiful. Da 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 da. And that. And then we need to get the game back up because it fucking crashed. Da 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 da. Because I know for myself, uh, once I get access, I want to stream um, in Barbarian Invasion. I want to stream in Barbarian Invasion, but I'm going to have my normal recording for um, for the Seleucids. That's what I want to do. I just need to get access still. Uh, crash? Yep. Random crash, BuckBG. Random crash. So let's load back up the autosave. Australia has New Holland, I think. Uh, does it crash often? Occasionally. It depends on what's going on. Uh, Medieval 2 has always been kind of iffy on some of the locations will be considered uh, unstable, or um, the towns will. This mod- Oh, fuck, I have to fight you guys There's again? No, no! I killed you! Leaving the army. Okay, uh, I've won this battle too. I don't want to fight these. Fuck. The mod. Uh, this mod, I'd say, kind of crashes about the same amount that I usually see. Also, we won these battles. I don't want to fight them again. Uh, I'm gonna make sure I do an auto save or a quick save. So we won these bat not defender defender. Um, we've won these battles before. So this one we won that. And um, this battle we won. But I'd say this mod kind of crashes about as often as I'd expect with a medieval two mod. Um, it having a crash every once in a while with a with a specific location. I'd say it crashes about maybe at least once per session. It depends on what I'm doing. Um, so it's not the worst. There are some mods that are really bad. Some that are like amazingly good. Uh, Crusader, yeah, stainless steel proof crashes frequently for me at least. I'd say this one crashes about as frequently as sta uh, cru uh, stainless steel. But you know, we won this one again, so fuck off, Spain. Technically, that makes it so I get the city in that regard. Um, let's see, so one of my favorite stories of New York City is Mayor uh, Tamani, who is one of the most corrupted officials in American history. And Tamani Hall still stands today. 
Uh, so money from the federal government, often the cost for a broom handle was like 20 cents back in then. And he sent a bill to the government for sending oh, Jesus. He controlled the police department and paid off gangs in the city to get him reelected often. Huh. Hey, just got Corbin. How's it going, man? That's a Huey Long. is interesting, though. Um, I completely forgot that New York City was uh, once Amsterdam at one stage. Um, to many sounds interesting, too. It does. He definitely does. Um, weird how mods closest to vanilla game crash more than others. Yeah, I kind of find that interesting. That is interesting. So, okay, for this, we tried to run away. I'm gonna try and just auto-resolve. Jesus, you guys got your fucking asses kicked. Marching to battle, sir. Are you guys gonna do it again? Yes, you are! Okay, so, we're gonna have to fight this again. But this time, I'm making sure we have a quick save. So, in case we have to come back here, because I want to control Dab in the meantime. Come on, lads! This battle is ours! Um, let's see... One of my favorite stories of history is the 1863 riots. It took the military to bump a city with a cannon fire to stop it. Huh. Let's see. Have you seen Has Been Hotel or Hell of a Boss? Yes. I love both of them. I want more Has Been Hotel. God damn it. That is my kind of humor. That is my kind of shit. And I want more of it. <laughs> okay, so you guys are attacking me here. Oh, God. Did I... Okay. I was about to say, did I fuck up? Did I fuck up? No, I didn't fuck up. You guys kind of back up. Let's see, the military took to the streets and killed all riders that charged them. So many died in the front of the buried them out of the streets. Jesus. Okay, so at least we're technically in a different location. So maybe this one will be a bit more stable. It's also a bit more open. So I'm hoping the game uh, will be easier for us to fight from here too. Um, let's see. Have you played uh, Divide and Imperative? Is that also... Because I know there's the Divide Imperia mod for Rome 2. If you're asking about for Rome 2, Jason, I have, and I'm actually currently playing through an Athens campaign in that mod. That's actually on my channel. I've got like six episodes of it right now. I know I, pl I tried playing that, camp uh, that mod a long time ago on my channel. I know I tried early on with a Swebby campaign... Uh, I think my 100... Yeah, my 100 subscriber video was a, uh, a Mesa Dawn campaign that I started. I remember that. Let's see. Why does anyone do anything? Pure boredom, of course, or because they're not interested in personal entertainment. Okay, actually, um, you guys don't have something. Oh, no, I actually do kind of keep moving where you are. Move there. Try and bring this guy over to help out. There we go. Um, is it place any information? The riots because of. And understandable, I guess. Okay. You guys just keep doing your thing on the side, since I've got a lot of infantry here that will be able to just kind of distract them as I open up on them. What will be lucky? I thought I believe I I believe I said ongoing. Okay, well, you guys move here. We're just gonna let them advance on us, and then just let my gunmen just keep firing on them as I keep just slaughtering them over here. They've already lost three percent of their forces. You guys, turn skirmish mode off, and then the general is this Okay, you kind of run over here to the map of please. Oh, I was correcting myself. Okay. Oh, oh, I see. Consider it in... I, my brain just automatically read that as ongoing. The human brain is interesting at times. Very interesting. Okay, you guys, let's back you up. Kill this Mantis Sergeant, please. So that is the Regina Rell. Okay, you guys just run off over here. Back up. Right, dead. Huh. Hey, okay, you guys keep backing up. Come on. Who's fighting you? Get out of there. Get out of there. Come on. 
We almost killed him? Nope, still not. Come on, take him out. Once he's once he's out of there, then they should break pretty easy. Also, you guys, I believe I forgot to put you on yeah, guard position. What's your favorite type of cavalry to use in Total War? For my for me, I primarily love heavy cow. I love a good rear charge. I love a good heavy hammer and anvil strike. So I usually like a lot of heavy cav. Um, that's why the Byzantine Empire is like my favorite faction to play in this, in just in general in Medieval 2. Because I love their cavalry. Their cavalry is feels amazing to use. Compare this campaign right now to my Byzantine Empire campaign in the same mod. He flees the I am so the reckless and man. I abuse the fact that my cavalry is so heavy hitting and tough. And I love that. I love that. Um, we have skirmisher cav. It can be fun, but I find them too weak for my taste. They like they just don't last very long, and that's kind of my issue with it. I believe he's been corrected. Shameless. Uh, the most charismatic and awesome villain since Scar. Who has a charm for being an agent? Well, come on. American history is interesting, but I prefer European history and African history of Belgium. Personally, there are always points throughout the world that are always very interesting. Like, I know for myself, I find the Zulu Wars, like in South Africa, fascinating to uh, learn more about. There's always interesting history all over the place. Maybe it doesn't ha uh, maybe it doesn't pop up for maybe a couple hundred years in certain regions, but there's always something that's interesting that's going on. I still hate, I don't know where the fuck my atlas is. I, I bought an atlas a while ago of, like, human history stuff. A bunch of history stuff. And I don't know where it was, because it was a, this huge book for, like, 25 bucks. And I just don't know where it is, and I hate that. Let's see. Um, I like shock and horse archers. Um, I really, it, it really didn't teach us any history in school outside of ages. After activations, like, yeah. I love the Zulu history, it was awesome. There's also some stuff, really cool stuff, um, about the, uh, I believe it was about the initial, like, colonization, kind of, of the Hawaiian Islands, all the stuff with those tribes. That was very fascinating to learn more about, I know for myself at least. Uh, Rampan, have you ever watched the miniseries of the Shocker Zulu? The battle seems to be swinging in our favor. Back in the 70s. From such tidings does victory emerge. I'm not sure. Uh, maybe. Maybe I have. Let's see how you guys do. 4 to 4 to 6. I'm still fighting this in melee. Yeah, let's start trying to run them down. The general's dead. I think if you guys start flanking them, we'll be able to easily kill them. Let's go right there. A little faster, guys. But yeah, I know for myself, I love cavalry that has a really good... I, yeah, shock cav. Melee cav, I've never really liked too much because, they, again, they kind of feel very fragile If because uh, the, their main staying point is the fact that they have a huge massive charge. So, uh, it's really good. It's about 10 episodes, and there's an hour long, and it's based on the true story. Um, at school, I learned so much stuff I didn't need to know, like... Science and math, one is it's going to be useful for who uses it. I always hate that mentality. In information is always useful. Always useful. Uh, the way the you take in information, bloodied. it's going to alter who you are as a person. Man. And so, technically, even if you don't use that explicit skill, learning about it is valuable. Like, did I Enemy need to learn, not, did I need to After memorize 97 digits of pi for extra credit in my high school? No. Did I want to and did I find it fun and it will help me learn more about uh, irrational numbers and also improve my own memory? Yes. Um, learning about something, even if it technically feels like it's useless at the time, there's always going to be some sort of value later on. Um, I know for myself, I wish I paid more attention in my English classes when I was growing up because I thought, oh, this is so fucking stupid. It's so fucking boring. I don't think I, I don't really fucking care about any of this. And now I kind of hate that, like, because I'm being a DM 
for my uh, D&D group, those skills actually have been very valuable in helping me to design these stories more, and now I'm having to learn it all on my own. Let's see, we don't learn about African history in school, but we choose to do it on African I'm thinking of doing a project on Atatürk or something. Okay, the King Crips will attack the Cape Town, so we send them that down to Shark Town and the Town for years and then trying to build the peace. I mean, they like information, but mainly what I enjoy or can improve my current knowledge. Not all of it, it's just when it's crammed into me all at once. I can kind of agree to that. But, I, I don't know, for myself at least, any useful, any information is useful information, and it, it, it is easier to take in certain pieces of information at times, like, I still gobble up math and science, that is far easier for me to learn than proper uh, grammar at times, or uh, story structures, that stuff is not as intuitive to me, and I can understand that, but... The only way you can keep your brain sharp is to make it struggle to learn new things. Damn it, we didn't get to magic either. All of Christendom but we still will be in awe of the victory we have won here Captain today. Captain Paparo. Now can I get through the end turn, guys? Oh, hi, Milan. You're going to attack me in general, I see. Okay, so... This is going to be tough. Holy shit, that's some good cav. I shouldn't have their really good units now. That's one thing I like about this mod. It is very useful. Or it's it's more interesting that because they replace the units, the AI actually uses their best units. I love that. It makes it more difficult and more interesting. So I'm going to control these guys myself. I think we should be fine. I wish I had stakes. Let none leave alive, uh, let's see. Shaka from how they Slaughter betrayed him in the show was a hero to people and was banned to his enemies. And was seen as a symbol of danger and did the invention of war for the return. Uh, isn't the Italian states OP and able to? Oh, yeah. <laughs> they are very OP. Uh, their, their infantry, their militia, their base militia is one of the, one of the best in generic battle. infantry units. Um, they also just have really good crossbows and a bunch of other things that make them very powerful. Ooh, good. You guys, uh, I want to move this forward. Yeah, I'll just have to walk it forward. Let's see, you guys have just a ram. Thank you. That is perfect for me. Everybody get off the goddamn walls. Um, archers up on the walls, since they have no... Absolutely no dudes that they can use to try and get onto the walls, so it's perfect for me. So boom, and boom. Okay, so there's all of you guys. And then... I can actually have you harass their dude if I need to. See, in a battle of three in the room of uh, Barbarian Empire's mod, I fought Mace Down with mainly horse archers and flaxmen on their leases. Uh, Sith I mean, Scythian warriors. So apparently warfare to the tribes around Zulu was almost like a party where they never uh, charge each other and just throw their spears at each other. Hardly ever killing anyone. It was mostly like uh, a party, then a war. I think I can remember that. Ugh. Oh, stupid fucking chair. Oh my god. I hate this chair. But Chaka changed it and made wars more bloody and full of yeah, because I know um, they had like a bull formation, a bull charging formation that was used to try and surround and like encompass uh, their enemies, if I remember correctly. Let's see, you guys, uh, give it where I want to. There we go, that's fine. Okay, I'll just see you guys in one moment. Um, where they could charge each other with short speed. Let's see, they had cataphracts, axemen, German pikes, uh, Germanic pikes, and Thracian pellets. Okay, let's start the battle. And then you guys, ooh, we do have ballista towers. Could you guys destroy the ram? That'd be amazing. I would love if you destroyed the ram, guys. That'd be amazing. 
Because then I want to have to try and defend this with a pretty beat up force. Is that 20% already? Yeah, maybe we will. Come on, 34. Can we get a little bit more? 40, 46. Also, you guys start running into the city center for more Euros. Oh, come on, 98. Yeah! That's their only ram. <laughs> Why did you guys only attack me with one ram? Oh, that's so sad, guys. That's the only thing you attack me with. Oh, that's so sad. Oh, yes, they would hard. They would encircle the enemy and close them from the side, stem the enemies to death, and short spears for the close quarter and long spears for the count with the up and allies or other. Let's see, uh, Kamehameha and. Or, uh, and the UK Defy was quite interesting to read about. Kind of weird to think of the UK to dying, uh, right now. Huh. So, are you guys just gonna sit there, or what are you doing? Oh, no, okay, you have one more ram. Okay, I thought you didn't have another ram. Okay, so they actually do have a chance to get in. Let's see if it's gonna survive, though. I don't know if it will. We already destroyed one ram with the Bliss Towers. We should be able to destroy another. We are wrecking their infantry here. They're all dying. You see, they even show a Zulu wedding ritual in the show where the house members dance around and engage a uh, bull and raise bull, and it was death, death, all by itself. Huh. Now, can we get this other ram? If we can get this other ram, that'd be great. Yeah! So you guys should be... I, I kind of want to shoot you guys at least. Did you need to hunt the enemy down after we're saying that they are? Let's see. Let's just get some more shots in. Because they should just run off the map now. Do you want to get some more shots? No, actually, no. Just stay where you are. Never mind. Ignore that order. We don't need to chase them down. I just want them to run off the map. Oh, that's CJ. Oh, that's the best All of Christendom will be in awe of the victory we have won here today. There we go. So, we lost nobody. Thank you, Milan, for assaulting us like that. You can fuck right off. Let's see, and a Zulu man was allowed to have multiple wives, but only his first wife is allowed to have everything upon his death. A glorious slaughter, man! Um, uh, end turn over soon, you think? Um, we're pretty close, I'm pretty sure. Because with Spain dead, there aren't a whole lot of other factions. Like, we might have something with Novgorod. Where are they in the turn order? The enemy has oh. surrounded us. Portugal's doing something. So I don't know if he can only have kids with his first wife or all the wives, I'm not sure. Uh, I believe if I remember correctly, because I think I, I... I might have actually watched this. Maybe I have. Um, I believe he would be able to have children with the other wives. But it was... Yep, yeah, okay, Novgorod's going to attack us. Um, but the inheritance would only go to the first wife. Hello, Yuri. How are you going to do, man? <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's a lot of infantry. Okay, Captain uh, Emir. Right, I need you to defend this Get castle, this uh, fortification, please. I think he should be fine. I've got a catapult, and they have literally no scriptures. See, murder the Moorish diplomats trying to bribe your city. I'll make sure I stab the son of a bitch. I will make sure I do. He will not survive another day. We just need to get through this battle. So, let's see, you guys. 
Do I? I do have some cat in here. It's my general, technically. Okay, everybody off the walls. I'm gonna push you guys up here. Actually, no, you guys are fine, honestly. My archers are a good enough unit that I expect you guys to beat them in melee. So you guys right there. And then you guys here. I'll try and run down the siege towers. Try and do that at least. Because... I'm gonna like it, but I'll have you prepared. Ooh, this is not the best area for my catapults. Ah, uh, actually maybe that will. Ah, uh, yeah, maybe we can do something with that. Okay. Then, infantry, so... General. You need to run outside and try and get rid of their siege towers. Infantry adjust. We only have fire arrows, we don't have ballistic towers here. There, there... There... Back... Everybody stay on top of each other, so you steal your formations. Okay, so that should do. Hold position, general, also charge the Z tower. Uh, let the Griffin launch into battle and conquer via the name of God, me and blood. Any good recommendations for history YouTube channels? Been meaning to look for more to watch. Um, God, what was the one I was I've been watching recently? Um, the enemy have ladders at the walls. Repel the attackers. Give them steel. Ah, uh, what was the one I was? There's one I subscribed to recently. I'm trying to remember what it was, because he was going through like excerpts of like um. Caesar's uh, rise to power and stuff like that, and I always found that really interesting. Especially the little animations he includes, even though they're very simple. I need to get rid of this other siege tower! I can't let you guys get that. Okay, can you guys... Curses! The enemy are battering down our gates! What are you doing? Why are you guys... What the hell are you doing? Why are you guys down here? What the... F okay, that's not what I wanted, and it's going to get us killed if you continue. You got them to drop that at least. Damn them all! The enemy's ram is through our gates. You guys are being attacked as I was expecting you to. Okay. Okay. Um, the battle is very can I move you guys down this way a little bit more? I want you to be a bit more angled. Steadfast, victory will be ours. So I want to have you kind of like right here. The walls are no longer kinda ours. Like right the enemy have taken them. There. You guys need to shoot this dude as soon as you're on the walls. Because you were supposed to be standing up here, and I don't know why you went the way you did. Okay, then. Yeah, could you guys turn around and start opening up on them, please? Because I do not know what the hell my archers were doing there. What you guys were thinking. Don't like how they're winning up here. Uh, catapult. You gonna open fire, please? I need a good volley right here. You're kind of preparing to fire. Come on, my man. You can do it. You can do it. Yeah, these guys are these things. Let me look at the... I need to look at my uh, subscriptions to know which one I was thinking of. 
What I was thinking of. Good tidings. The enemy oh, general lies that dead. Was a good we have boy. sent the car to hell. Is it? How was it this one? Yeah, uh, the one I was thinking of was Historia Civilis. The enemy army flees the field. After that's one I really like. Down. Historia Civilis. Oh wow, they are already running. Jesus. Oh, I did accidentally destroy one of my own catapults in the process, but hey, it works. Rampant, did you put um, any money down on Sari Death Gamble? Uh, nope, I had no idea what that was. Uh, close back on New Year's, and I put 20 bucks on Kim and Husband, so yesterday I got $108, so yay! <laughs> oh, what the fuck. I guess! Yeah, okay, let's try and run them down as much as we can. Because they're all just running now. I don't know how many guys we'll be able to get, but I want to get more than just what we've got right now. What is it? There's a lot of you guys breaking, holy shit. Oh, there you guys are. Okay, go further up this way. Come on, can we get to the Magic 85, please? Have... Ram, Imperator, hey -o, King Horse, how's it going, man? Oh, come on, we're not going to get the though. Damn it. Not going to be able to get to the Magic 85. Although, they are on the... They are on an island. They might die, actually. Sounds a bit morbid, someone dying. Yeah, that's why I said, what the fuck? There we go. Let's see, there's some guys back here, too. Yeah, there we go. There's some more. There we go. 93. Technically, it's not from magic. actual Magic 85, but we'll go with it. Okay, there we go. We've done that. The enemy are utterly vanquished. This is a great victory. How many, uh, catapult 123? Oh, they actually didn't get that many kills. I thought they got more. First of his name in Emperor of Rampania. <laughs> God damn it, when is Dominius getting back? Why? I'm gonna you guys, and you're gonna attack me at Turku as well. This should be the last thing they can do during this turn end. On, uh, uh, then that's it. Ooh, you have some of your Berdich. Berdiche. Ooh, okay. And your general is the horse archer, technically? Okay. Come on, this. lads! This battle is ours! Queen Elizabeth is immortal. Uh, I bet on the Queen to pass on the second week of August, and your husband said it was true. Let's see, kind of hope the Queen lives to 100 so she has to send a telegram to herself. That'd kind of be interesting. Okay guys, let's pull back to the city center. Everybody back here. Archers, actually no, you guys will be right here and here as they're walking up. Um, I only have a little bit of infantry. And then you guys, so basically what I'm gonna do... You guys kinda stand like that. And then you... Actually, other way. There, and there. Okay, and then Ballista's just kinda chill right here. There we go. Elizabeth Invictus. Yeah, I wonder what is actually the longest living monarch. I'm assuming she's got that beat by a long shot. Come on and attack me. Hurry up and get in here. Curses. Let's see, I just hope that the when she does pass, the throne is given to someone young. I mean, her son is too old at this point. To arms, True. My lord. True. The enemy's ram has breached the gate. God save us. When she passes, the though, would they really have a reason to continue the lost. royal family at this point? That's why I'm curious. That's what I'm curious about. Does it really hold that much stake in uh, 
British politics anymore. Does it need to be a thing? Because we don't know how long it's going to take for her to actually keel over. She could be immortal for all we know. So you guys are running over here for some reason. Okay. She's the longest reigning queen in the royal family's history. What about in just royal families in general? Is she also still the reigning champ? I would think so. Hmm, I don't like you guys bringing ladders over this way. Are you not going to bring in a ramp? Huh. I don't like this. I don't like what you're doing there, guys. I do not like what you're doing. Uh, let's try and run you over there. You guys, though, there. You guys go here, or actually closer to this side. So we've got some time. I need to make sure they don't get the up on these areas. The walls. Repel the attackers. Give them steel. In the world history, if only in European royal families, also royal families. That would be your example. Japan is still around. We got about one years ago. True. Okay. Yeah. You guys open up on them, and then you there. From this position, you guys should be able to do a lot of damage to them. There we go. We just have to hope that they will uh, drop all the... Jesus! Before this unit... Oh my god! Holy shit, you guys deleted that unit. Keep shooting them! You guys are kicking some ass over here. Holy shit. men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. These two archers are taking on the entire army. Holy fuck. Uh, there's an Egyptian queen who reigned for like 90 years. Hmm, not bad, not bad. Um, look what Palmer Bell, it was an interesting part of her history. It was for the strip of the royal family of power and gave it to the house of lords. Okay. Also, can you guys kind of move over here? They're not bringing their guys through my gate, so I might as well just focus my defense on this area. Just like you guys. Right here. Yeah. Oh, you're just sending nobody over there, so I might as well just send everybody over this way. Because my god, my archers, you are badass. The battle is very much in our favor. Okay, you're out of ammo. If we now, remain sadly. true and steadfast, victory will be ours. Hey, you guys want to start throwing javelins too? You guys might actually be too far away. Or too close. There we go. There we go. Now we've got everybody all down here with the javelins too. You guys are not having a good day. And I'm about to bit bring ballistas over here too. Hey, you just move over a little bit. Our men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. I've lost one percent of my forces so far. Let's see, uh, Colonel Rebellion. It was taught to us as the English Civil War, one of the three civil wars we learned about here in Ireland after the American. I was a member of the House of Lords, and the assembly was only ever held together by the king at the time to collect money in the moment they tried to gain power in the moment to the house. Oh. I'll give it march. I'll be back later. Examine City O2, will ya? Uh, if we ever get through the city, if we actually get through the end turn, I'll make sure to do that OP Lucky. Because uh, your character was out of movement last turn, so we weren't able to do anything. Because we've just been trying to get through this turn end. That's all we've been trying to do. And it just was wonderful when the game decided to crash for us. But we're trying to march more on to uh, Portugal right now, because Spain's dead. Spain is dead, and it's just Portugal is who we have to go after now. Okay, you guys are stuck. Okay. I'm going to take this time 
and use the restroom as I feel like I'm going to have to just sit here anyways. So I will be back in one moment. We are victorious. The day has ended and spared our enemy an even greater defeat. May there be many more such victories.
Okay, perfect. Okay, so let's see what did I miss. Um. I missed a little bit. Okay. Okay, so we're control on this supported by House Okana. Uh, there's a movie that was made of it. It's free and neat It's called Chroma on Sir Alec Guinness. It's a movie. It's really good and shows how much England has changed in a matter of years. Um, it's pretty good for the Irish. Chroma will save people in Ireland. Probably Vados Thatcher here. Let's try and remind me from Churchill. Huh. Okay. Well, oh, there we go. So, my archers did really well. Nice job, guys. About 300 kills between the two of those guys. Not bad, not bad. Okay. So now, please let me get through the turn end. <laughs> please. I just want to get through the turn. It's all I want. Because if we can get through the turn end, then we have some things to do in Iberia. What the fuck? Why are you here? I do not seek trouble, Okay. Um. Well, it looks like when we had to reopen the game, you might actually survive and not be pissy. Just get a bunch of guys. Uh, it's mainly... Yeah, it's mainly squalor and everything. So get the theater and try and get the city hall. Actually, get this. Uh, this one would give me what? Foot? Yeah, 10% over. Oh, actually, 15%. Can you stay that long? You might survive. Okay, well, let's hope you can survive and not provide ult right now. Colonel promoted. No! He should not be promoted. He needs to die! Is it a Aye. All of them need to die. I am the only one that gets to have cardinals. Uh, well, at least if it wasn't for Chrome, all the other friends would probably still be in the same control of the government because they had a modern rebellion to overthrow them. I don't think he's going to get it. The only time he succeeded in the uh, stabbing under the table is when he just stabs him straight in the dick. If he takes the time to like crawl out, he never succeeds. Okay, let's see. I want you. Where was that worst in Oh, he was up here. Ah, oh, well, would you kindly get rid of him? Hey, oh, Bathurus. Bathuris. Bathory's great things. Hey all. Yeah, let's get rid of this diplomat. Stop trying to buy my bribe my shit. Okay, uh, let's see, get the ship right here. But how's it going with you, man? I agree the royal family should not have had any more proper power. But then again, taking a deal from people who lied to you before really there's no trust. Hmm. I'm gonna have to try and find the documentary you were talking about, Daniel. Oh, I forgot I'm, uh, I'm not on YouTube. It's Blake Proctor here. Ah, okay. Yeah, hey, uh, how's it going, Blake? Who do you want? Dead, Let's see. The Pope is still... I love how the Pope has forgotten where he once All came right. from. Who so we're still trying to kill him. 5% chance with you, 5% chance with you. Right. Who needs a sick? Still trying to kill the Pope. Because of what he did and how he realizes how he hasn't how he, for lost where he came from forgot where he came from uh, How far is the campaign I believe we're banned in the new world? I see at the moment um, We've abandoned dealing with the new world until we finished off Iberia because They followed us to the new world. They had a fucking vendetta against us and with them still alive I don't think we were gonna be able to really do much in the new world uh, and also us killing off uh, Spain and Portugal will lead us back there eventually. Uh, it's not a documentary, it's a full-on action movie. Oh, oh, okay. It's really good and it's friendly too. Diplomat nearby. Um, I don't know if I have one nearby in here. Stop hitting the hat! You guys can aim a little bit lower. The AI is doing its best to combat, uh... 
It is true. It's just, it's them. It seems like it. They're like, hey, fuck off. Ireland, stop trying to go to the new world. That's our job. Damn it. Because I think we're going to have to do... Um, Who or what needs where are some of my diplomats? I feel a nasty oh, let's see. Spy, 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 assassin, 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 diplomats. Okay, so I've got one Edinburgh, one Oslo, and one in general. Okay, so I actually do have one nearby. Hey, uh, Pope. Opening talk. We suspect you will waste Vassal. <laughs> no, you must think us fools or worse. This so I can vassalize them. Um, so what I think I'm going to try and do is, if we can, I want to try and have it so that we will get to the point where we can... Uh, if we can get the Pope on our side again, so I have to get a new Pope. Because when, when that happens, they immediately love me that turn. So maybe they'll actually accept that when I make them my new Pope. So yeah, you would think that the Pope would just stop sitting in that seat now. <laughs> You'd think so, but maybe they just don't care because of how many times it's failed. And like, eh, every other, th there's been like 60 attempts on my life in this chair. I think this chair is blessed by God. I think I'm fine. That's probably their actual mentality towards it. That's kind of my guess, at least. Enemy to crush. Probably need to give them land and money. That's what I'm kind of thinking. I might have to give them some land and then they'll probably more likely consider it. Um... Who do they hate right now besides me? Uh, Holy Roman Empire a little bit. Oh, did they take Belog in the back? Oh, they did. Um, what I could do is... This is controlled by Milan, is it not? Yes. I'm not at war with Milan. No, I am at war with Milan. Um, I could go conquer Mil the Milan's area and give that back to Rome and offer that as a vassalization. I could do that. Let's see. I get this together. Move out! Because you guys, let's see, can you guys leave Barcelona? Uh, not right now. Okay, so Opie Lucky's character can't move out just yet. Close, but no cigar. So let's just get some more guys. Just free upkeep. I'll do move them forward later. Can you retrain any of these dudes? Try and retrain some as you are able. I my liege. And then what the hell are you doing here? Well, I'm going to go around this way. I need to get over to Granada. I'm going to try and have you go that way. My king. You guys are just supposed to be walking about. Keep getting a general, and then get some more infantry and everybody else. Uh, you guys should be fine here. I'm not too worried about that attack there. But you guys can start getting me some more stuff. Pamplona too. Now I can just start mass producing troops around here. I don't need to worry about the fact that they've got a lot of guys around here. I can just attack them here. Let's see. Uh, the King of England and the time of the Republican Rebellion was uh, willing to do anything to keep his power. Even begged to the French to join them and force the Irish to join them. Huh. Let's see. Or when you go to the New World, you can give one of those and uh, Cuba. I could do that. I could do that. But, I don't know. I kind of want us to colonize uh, Ameri the Americas you ourselves properly. Me. Is it a person or a place? Hogan. I could try and kill the chief's son. There's a lot of bishops here. Let's try and get rid of some of them. Let's see, so there's Bruce. You can grow. Natural causes when my spies died. No! Fergus Carey is a new family member. Okay. Diplomatic information. Hmm. Portugal's now at war with Egypt and the Turks. Okay, assassin misses targets. That's just a bunch of all of those reports. That's fine. Okay. I do want to send these assassins Who do you want? towards the Pope, Who as I'm trying to get a new Pope. We'll try and see if getting a new Pope will uh, reset their thinking and uh, see if they'll actually like us again. Um, so we'll just send all of my assassins right. over that way still. Now let's keep recruiting more in general. Uh, also watch on here instead, more active than Twitch. Uh, which front has been the most difficult so far? Um, at the moment... Uh, 
I'd honestly probably say over here. It's a little difficult for me to continue pushing into these areas. I just because uh, you guys have a I can't. Like the Holy Roman Empire is far more crap than I'd like them to. And so it's really hard to kind of push into these areas. I'm going to bring you back around here. March. I'll have Aye. you guys try and help out with the defensive Aye. prog. Forward. I'll try and do that. Because Frankfurt, we're pretty, it's pretty easy to defend. It's very easy to defend this right now. They aren't really pushing in here that easily. And actually, I can retreat. I need to adjust that. Let's actually recruit those units. So you, 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 and then everybody else. There we go. Maybe. That's that's one way to put it. Uh let's see you guys uh get the better farms. Stetton, I need you guys to get to grow faster too. I need to get the uh, guns in this city. You try and do that. Hamburg. Uh, how about you also get the irrigation? You guys get the better coaching house. Oh, you guys are still sitting out there. I don't like that. Let's see. Visby, merge those guys together, and then retrain what you can. Uh, get better city hall, Stockholm. Uh, how much I can do there at the moment? You guys get the better farm. I need to grow this place a little bit faster so we can actually upgrade it more. That's using the of the house, using the house, uh, the house and create a proper system. This is gonna be a while until I think we can kind of push into Russia, sadly. I am hoping that we're gonna be able to push into you guys more around here. Because, let's see. I can't get over, I wanna get over you guys. You keep gathering together. We'll make another one of these armies around here sooner rather than later. And then you guys... I forgot to build something around here. Uh, oh, you can actually upgrade this. Upgrade that citadel, then. Upgrade that citadel. Still waiting on you guys to be happy enough to leave here. You guys can leave, for the most part. Um, just going to recruit a few more guys. Because I want to send all of these guys over here. So they're all in just the same stacks. You should face trial uh, you move down heresy. soon. Oh, you can I move down. Age. Um, let's have you kind of go down here too. Or actually, no. Uh, you go to the northern section. By your will, sire, you go to the north. Bordeaux. Uh, ballist towers. You need ballist towers. And is there anything else I can build? Leon. Uh, the city hall. And then I can I send some more guys down here. Let me do that. Aye, lord. Aye, move out. There we go. You guys should be fine. Then. Just get that general. You guys can get a few more guys to kind of uh, compensate for that. Because if that's the case, no need to kill the boatman. Just get a pint of Guinness and a bit of arsenic. <laughs> but this won't be a curse of fear. Uh, Aram, did you see King Kong uh, uh, versus Godzilla yet? I have not. I've seen some of the GIFs uh, about it, but I haven't seen the movie myself specifically yet. Ooh, Mercenary German Knights. Yeah. I'll grab that. Honestly, I want Milan, but in my way. Leading the men with honor, sire. Get in my way, Captain Matthias. Oh, good. We now actually have the gun sounds when we do that. Let's see. I want you to move up here. But I'm going to have I, you be reinforced. I, actually, no, this is kind of fun. Actually, I, my liege. I didn't. I forgot about that. That um, That's his son, isn't it? Yeah, Arthur O'Brien. So he has rejoiced and rejoined with his son. For they will try and take Milan. Uh, I'm going to have you slaughter that one art unit. Just slowly kind of push them back. So basically, I want you to be able to reinforce... And there we go. Start sieging Milan. With two armies there. You guys should be able to take that, hopefully. Uh, tell me when you do, because I got an awesome theory to the movie, and I did a review of it on Discord. gave it a 6 out of 10. I remember reading that. Um, I don't know when I'm going to be able to watch it. It might be a while, honestly. Um, 
until it's like maybe on Netflix or something. I don't know. Um, uh, I've been very, very frugal with my money recently. So you guys, uh, get the better assassins thing. Or no, actually, uh, get the better farms. Get the better farms there. Do we have anything else to do up here? Oh, you guys are just randomly standing around. I have so many random generals just standing about. Okay, I'm gonna put you all right here for now, and I'll keep moving you around occasionally. Um, oh, Inverness can build something. You guys, get Bliss Towers, grab those. And then, I think that's it for this turn. How long have we been going on for? We've been going on for about two-ish hours. I want to keep going, but I'm kind of... Tinius hasn't gotten back yet. When is she getting back? Cause you, I feel like you need to go outside, then. Can you hold on for a little bit longer at least, bud? Maybe? Or are you gonna grumble? I'm gonna try and do one more end turn. I don't know where a lot of is. Hi, leaving the army. Um, it's on HBO Max, so probably will not be ever on Netflix in the US, maybe in another country that doesn't have HBO Max. Oh, if it's just on HBO Max, though, that's something simple, though. We must just get a subscription of that man. at one point for like a month. Siege. Or something. I don't know. That might be more doable. We're besieged. Oh, hi there. Hey, fuck off. Stop trying to assassinate my dude. Sisley, you gonna do anything? No, nope. I think you're just continuously trying to bribe Genoa. Can you stop that, please? I like Genoa. I like controlling Genoa. It makes me money. It makes me lots of money. <laughs> I need to finish off the Genoese. I want to kill off as many factions as possible so we stop having to have such long turn times. Because we killed off Spain and France recently. Milan is really close to death. So is Poland. So is the Holy Roman Empire. So Portugal is pretty close too. HRE has been putting up a pretty good fight. They really have been. Sorry. If anything, <laughs> though... Enemy lays siege to our walls. What, bud? What do you want? What do you want? I got stuff out of you at least recently. Lucius decided to shit upstairs when I went upstairs to go to use the restroom. Even though I was outside with you guys like 30 minutes before stream taking you out. Uh, assassinating the diplomats of Italy. Yeah, uh, I'm definitely going to do that. It'll be a great way to try and... Um, holy shit, I got through a turn end without having to defend something. Um... Great way to try and train my guys. Because I've got... There we go. Got two assassins here. Dead, my lord. Let's try and train off of you. Sensius di Taranto. You should easily be able to kill him. Um, are you even friendly with any European power at this point? Oh no. Oh no. What, you expect people to like me in this campaign right now? No! <laughs> Everybody hates my fucking guts. Absolutely everybody. Okay, you're gonna get them. Yeah, I'll keep trying to have you guys keep training more assassins up here. We're still trying to assassinate the Pope. Who do you? To oh, he is not here. Wait, what? Aye. Who needs a second smile? Where did the Pope go? What needs removing? Where the hell? What? Who do you want? What? Who needs a second smile? Where's the Pope? Quietly approaching. Where's the goddamn Who Pope? Want dead, my lord? Aye. Who needs a second smile? Where did this fucker go? Aye, sir. Oh, 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 no, that's just the dude. Place, then, Where's the Pope? And I'll not have her. Where are you? He's disappeared. Aye, my lord. Did you no, he's still in here. What the hell? Why can't I see him? Who do you want dead, my lord? No valid assassination targets. What the hell Ooh, are you talking about? What needs removing, sire? Is it a what? person or a place then, sire? Who or what needs Why can't removing? I assassinate his ass? Okay then. Uh let's see maybe three hundred box office dealing the something here they bought by hiding. Like he's just Okay. If for some reason I can't assassinate him. I think I need a spy over here to kind of show him here. I don't know what the hell's going on there. But okay, we are not able to try and assassinate him this turn. Let's see, you guys are besieging us in Frankfurt. 
Frankfurt's gonna be fine. Uh, you guys not so much. They stopped attacking Prague. Lower the tax rate around there. Because you guys will be fine. As soon as I can start getting some guys around here. I want to move you guys out. Because I want to leave, like, you guys around here. Don't, don't touch that. Is the Pope on the boat? Uh, no. He is still in the city. It's just not showing that he's in the city. For whatever reason. Um, let's grab you guys. Is you're all normally in a city anyways. Uh, who else can we put in there? Uh... How are you guys doing? You guys are currently at 20%. Um, I'm going to hope you guys hold that with just what you have. Maybe just forcibly take Rome. Honestly, I'm very tempted to. Very tempted to. What is he, bud? What, what? Okay. So, I... Let's see. Uh, is there any fighting going on between other European powers, or are they all united against you? Well, uh, the thing is, this is what the world looks like right now, and what the world powers are. Like, oh, there's Portugal over here that was allied with Spain, and they fought me. Uh, there is Poland and Holy Roman Empire over here. Hungary's like the only unified kingdom that's still kind of alive, but they're all scattered. I'm their only target they really hate. So they haven't been really doing much. Give me one moment, Lanny. Give me one moment. So there isn't a whole lot of infighting between them. Um, kind of sad, but at the moment, I'm actually going to be ending this stream a little earlier than I'd like, just because I think I need to take Lanny and Lucius outside, and they've been fed. I know they've been fed, but I think they need to be taken outside. I don't know when the fuck Timidis is getting back. So it's just hard to try and stream with them, even though I know I took you guys outside beforehand. But I'm going to be done for now for this stream. I'm going to be doing another one tomorrow. Um, that'll be a little bit later just because I'm going to be hanging out with my girlfriend later today, uh, tonight. And so it'll have to be starting around like 1.30 uh, Central Standard Time. But we'll continue conquering and killing the Pope tomorrow. <laughs> so thanks guys for stopping by for this stream. Um, but this is Rampant and I'll see you guys next time.